Hi guys, it is Wednesday and it's already the evening, we already had dinner, um, but my SD card acted up and even though it was empty it said that it was full so we uh, emptied it, formatted it and now it's all back to normal. But that means that I wasn't able to film anything that we did so I thought I'd show you everything that we did today and um, it was quite a lot, made a lot of progress so I'm very happy about that. So one of the first things that Yodi did today was install a smoke detector and CO alarm. So that means that if our uh, wood burner doesn't really do its job too well, um, we are, well, the danger of us uh, dying from either fire or from CO poisoning is um, diminished quite a lot. So um, we hope that it works. It seems to be and it's in a good position according to the booklet. So it, it wasn't allowed to be in a corner. We had found a perfect nook for it where we couldn't see it but apparently that's not uh, safe. So we uh, opted for that cor that um, spot here instead. Then Yodi also installed a structure to keep the uh, water tanks, both the uh, supplying water and the wastewater tank as well as the gas canister into place and they are just bolted down there and at the back there and this one is also bolted down to the frame in the corner so that it's more safe and that it can't just move out anywhere uh, whilst we're driving and these clamps can be easily opened and closed so that we can take them out whenever we need but that we can easily also put them back um, into the position after we have for example cleaned that water tank or emptied that water tank so this is a great way to attach it without any further um, difficulty Yori just made a small hole in the nylon strand and then used um, a lighter to melt the cord and then he screwed it into place with some metal rings to divide the pressure and to keep that strand nice and tidy and not break it and he did that at the other end as well and also behind the gas canister Jordi then also installed this LED and finished off the edge around the fan so that looks much better this is one thing that we were really sad about by the way we ran out of this paint and bought a different one both said that they were white but well you can see quite a difference um, I think we'll get used to it over time, but oh well, yeah, it's just one of those, those things. Then Yori reattached this sheet to the ceiling. Uh, yesterday uh, we still had a supporting beam for the ceiling uh, up there because one of the wooden beams was glued on top, glued to the, to the roof. So that was supported overnight and now this is attached, reattached and it looks great. Isn't that just the cutest wood burner? I really, really like it. We already had some sealant around here, um, but we also sealed this edge all the way up in the back there, all the way around the sink, as well as all the way around our full burner stove. So everything is now neat and tidy and there can be no water, dam water damage underneath. And I worked on all the finishing touches around this area and um, as you know I already made uh, the fu funky part there and here but now I made a, a square that will fall perfectly into this area I finished off that curved one and I also made a rectangle that can go in that corner so you will still be able to see some of the metal but I think it just adds a bit of a vibe you know that it still is a van because even though this will be our home we also like the fact that it is a van it looks like a van and we just keep a few of those touches of the, that white metal i really like the look of that and then i also made a <clears throat> slat that goes against this area so that we can close that gap um, all of these finishing touches will be uh, that green gray so everything blends in with the rest of the kitchen and kind of separates it from the ceiling and the uh, slat here that I made, it's just, uh, I think, six, six centimeters of ply. And um, I made sure that it falls into place with the other finishing pieces that I made. And when it was six centimeters in width, just as a perfect rectangle, I used that same method to form a curve that we also use for the wardrobe. So now it actually aligns with the ceiling quite nicely. And then it just falls over this ledge uh, like half a centimeter so that we don't see the, the curve of this hard board and we don't see the attachments there. So then it all blends in quite nicely. 
So I think it will look great. What I did forget to make is a piece that um, finishes off this area, but I will also do that using the same ply as uh, was used making this. So I think I'll cut that or uh, draw it tomorrow and then cut it or ask Gordy to cut it because it's quite a, a small piece. Um, and then paint it and that should be able to go in as well. So the blog post that goes up tonight is um, about how we built this bed frame. And we will eventually also film that for you guys, but if you want to find out all the details, you can do so in the blog post that we wrote today. Um, for you, that will have already gone up yesterday, so if you just click the link in our description below, then you can find out everything about our scaffold tube bed. I think it looks so homely right now, and yeah, it just adds that piece of comfort, comfort I think, um, to have that bed in. I think that's just something that a bed does. A good comfortable bed is so important. So um, yeah, we're very happy with our build, our frame, uh, our sofa bed. So hope you guys like it as well. Mojo is just posing for me for one of the pictures for the blog post that goes up tonight. And uh, I think she's loving it. <laughs> we're not the only ones that think our bed is comfortable. So here we have those finishing pieces that all go in the kitchen and here is a beam that we'll have in front of the dog crate to protect it from sliding forwards and then here we have the uh, slat that will go against the ceiling above that cupboard that I just showed you. Today Jordi's mom also made a curtain for the sliding door and I think she finished a curtain for the toilet as well. So now all we need is a curtain above the sink area here. And once that's done we can install two hooks uh, in the window frame and also against that toilet area. And then we will have um, curtains with a bamboo rod and that we can take off and put back on. Uh, meaning that the entire curtain is removable and that's something that we wanted because once we're making dinner we do not want that oil to splat into the curtain because we don't, don't have a proper way to clean that and the toilet as well since the toilet has to be um, pulled out as a drawer uh, you can't really scoot the curtain back up far enough so that's why we want to be able to disattach it disassemble it basically so um, that took a bit of extra effort and I think we figured it out we just have to make the hooks or find the perfect hooks in which those bamboo uh, sticks can fall so yeah I think it looks amazing very happy with the progress we made today, today even though we we're really not able to show you guys but oh well I just have to paint two beams of white and I think that's it for today I am now going to edit that blog post and get that up and ready for you guys to read. So if you haven't already read it, click the link in our description and please read it. Um, it explains all about our bed and uh, sofa bed frame. So I hope you like that. And um, yeah, we will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye guys.